Hello, here we are again. Welcome back to Mori. Um, this should be episode three, I reckon. Um, I haven't seen how um, episode one and two did. I mean, I guess my voice was a little bit quiet, but ugh, that's <laughs> usual for me. I hope everything works now. And yeah, I'm. I um, I also very much enjoyed the game in the last episode, or at least things started to kick off a little bit. And, um, if I recall correctly, I think last time I actually got myself a map, didn't I? Didn't I get myself a map? What? I could swear I got myself a map. Did I get a map? I have to check. Self-help guy? Oh no, no, not this one, not this one. <laughs> Nothing, thank you. Well, if I if I did get a map, then I must have forgotten about it. Oh, I don't know how to select it. And I think I also wanted to talk to everyone, but I haven't done that yet, so let's do it now. I like puzzles. Okay, he still likes pu puzzles. Wait, this is new. Floating mirror. Your friends sli uh, smile warmly behind you. Hang on, can I? Nothing else? Alright then. <laughs> I guess that's nice. I wonder if something will change in that mirror at some point. Anyway, I was also interested to see if I could. Um, if I could do um, these, well, I guess side quests, if I may call it that. And I think, yeah, these ones. Daisy's dilemma. Ah, oh, Daisy's trying to get a crush to notice her with a flower puzzle. How cute. I think I saw Mika throw one away a while back. Maybe you can find it somewhere. Oh, yeah, whoops. Okay, Mikal, Mikal, Mikal. Thank you, Mari, for the help. Mikal, um, we have seen someone named Mikal before, but I forgot who it was. Was that you? No, that's Charlene. Mikal, 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 Mikal. That's Ren. Sean. Wait, have I joined them before? I think I have. You, maybe. Mailbox. Yes, yes, hello. Isn't serious blah Okay. Thanks, mailbox, but that's not what I needed. Mika, Mika, I, I'm sorry, but I honestly forgot who Mika was. It wasn't you, Screamy Guy, was it? No, that's Browse. Happy. And a hop, and a hop. Oh, who was Mika again? Was it you? Nope, that's Van. You! Yes. Okay, maybe a boss. <laughs> oh, Basil's missing again. Wasn't me this time, I promise. Now leave me alone to repent. Sorry. Sorry there, bossy. Um, okay, threw one away at some point, so... Maybe there's a trash, trash bin somewhere? So have I been down here? Yeah, I have. This is where Basil's house is. I think. Yeah. Have I even been at the train station? Basil's got to be around here somewhere. Okay. What about in the pinwheel forest? Okay, fine then. <laughs> Please, I want to explore elsewhere. May I please? Now, oh, whoops. Wrong way. Ugh. Unless there's a puzzle here, but I doubt it. Also, apparently, I never went this way. So let's check what's over here. Ooh, more, f more foggy area. Okay, 
Those plants look a bit weird. There's a different area. Oh, there's a rock. Rock, 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 never mind. Ooh, cobwebs. You are afraid of sp Aww. Oh. <laughs> huh? Um. Well, just to quickly comment on this. My real life self is the exact opposite. I really, really like spiders. <laughs> but I could definitely understand if someone else is afraid of spiders. Although I wouldn't know how that um, fully feels. I could definitely understand, um, or I'd be okay with people being afraid of spiders. Like I know I have a few close friends who are very afraid of spiders. I personally like them. I never want to kill them and yeah. Okay, so I guess I can't go that way. Now <laughs> that uh, that fear. Wait, rock? Has this rock just changed changed position? No, never mind. It was just another one. Okay, now that weird um, fear effect or whatever that was. I have been informed that this apparently can also occur um, on the pier. And the ladder. Or this ladder. But I haven't tried that out yet. I'll quickly go to the pier and see if it'll also work there. If it doesn't, then I guess I'll have to go to Basil's house. Wait, maybe? Oh, okay. No, thank you. <laughs> you are afraid of drowning. Okay. Now let me not do anything and see what happens. Okay, similar effect. I can hear bass rumble. Huh, okay. I guess I, I'm not too sure if I commented on that. I think I did comment that... Um, um, I would definitely, I would definitely be, definitely be afraid of drowning, but, ugh, I don't know. I, I go into the waters too rarely to know. Peekaboo. Joker, Josh. <laughs> okay, then. Well, then I guess Basil's house it is. Been there, I've been there. Yeah. Hey, flower. These flowers, they're already dying. We should do our best to take care of them until Basil gets back. Can I? Would you like to water the plants? Oh, yes, please. Oh. Wait, can I? Ah, okay. I don't know if I should um, water all of them. Let's see if I can do that. I mean, I don't. I don't want to. Okay. I thought I could maybe overwater them, if that's a word, because <laughs> that I would not have liked. These ones appear to be doing fine. I <laughs> think. I don't need to play some kind of difference game here. I mean, to me, to my eyes, they look mostly fine. Cacti can typically survive longer, as we've learned. I hope that was okay. <laughs> hey there, Mari. May I save, please? Yes, thank you. Wh whoops, uh, thank you, this. Also, I'm gonna start to hurry up a little bit more because um, I know making every episode one hour long or so, I guess that would be a little bit, I don't 
don't know if that's too long or not, but at the same time, it does take a while. So let's get into let's go into Basil's house. I'm guessing. Wait, let me just check one more thing. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thought I could maybe sneak behind there. Now let's see. This thing again. Huh. Weird. We've seen this thing three times by now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, it doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Do you think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know, that doesn't sound like him. He, he's usually so considerate about these things. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there anything we can do? Is there nothing we can do? I'm mean, sorry, that's the opposite. What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. Don't worry too, but that won't that but that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. Yay, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. I'm not too sure if it's that if it's going to be that simple. <laughs> you guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the vast forest. <laughs> Alright then. Wait, wait, what is this? Can't analyze it? Okay then. They look a little sad. Oh. Can we water them in any way? Wait, what? Just as Basil left it. It's a little dusty. Ah. Ah. Ah? I'm confused. That's you. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I don't want to run. Ooh. Okay, we're fighting Dust Bunny. Nice. Oh, oh. I see. Also, I want to apologize if I still ha uh, don't understand the fighting system that well enough. Maybe I should read through Hero's little guidebook. <laughs> okay. So, vast forest. We have seen the vast forest before, I feel like. But of course, considering my memory, I uh, already forgot where it was. Honestly, I don't see why not saving would be a bad idea. <laughs> Wait. Did I just say that? I meant why saving would be a bad idea. <laughs> Sorry, must have confused that. Okay, let me quickly check something. Can I? Oh, okay. Thought maybe I could go to Basil's house with one of those watering cans. Okay, but these flowers seem to be doing fine, at least. I'm no botanic expert but I'm guessing they are fine hopefully okay I don't think it's in the pinwheel forest but we can still have a look can we oh vast forest oh that's why heights because of vast yeah is that a melon Bunny of some sort. Basil! Basil, where are you? I know. I bet my pet rock will do. Will know what to do. Hector, be a good girl. <laughs> be a good boy. Go find Basil. Just like Patrick, eh? It even has a face. Hmm. You tried your best, buddy. Okay. At least he wasn't too sad about it. This is no time to fool around, Kill. Hey, why are you... Hector was just trying to help. Let it go, you two. We need to keep ourselves focused. 
Oh dear. <clears throat> well, here there, Parrot. Mr. Parrot. Go away. Pain away, forest. Scratch back. Foggy bridge. Foggy bridge, eh? Where? Where? Does, does this thing want to attack? Oh, I guess so. Um. I guess just fight. I honestly can't think of anything else. Forest bridge. Forgot about these follow-ups. Uh, what does looking at them do? <laughs> okay, at least being victorious does make me smile. Are these footsteps? No, I don't think so. Oh, you again. What were they called again? More sprites, yes. I don't know if leveling up is uh, crucial. Maybe. <laughs> Great. Try not to do a passing thing next time. You got jacks. Jacks? I'm guessing those are maybe f food or something that can heal us. Oh, it's toys. Deals small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. Speed? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm still so lost considering. Uh, um, I mean. I'm still so lost with everything regarding, regarding, yes, regarding fights, soft cover, basically, heals fight hard. Okay. I just didn't want to read into this because I thought it may be a bit boring to watch, but I honestly feel like I don't know anything about the battling. First of all, stats. What about stats would you like to know more about? Let's go one after the other. Hard. Heart shows the amount of damage you can take before you become toast. Friends who are toast can no longer fight in battle. Very, very simple. Juice, let's see. Juice is needed in order to use skills, which have various effects. Okay, different skills may require different amounts of juice. That was it. Attack. A higher attack increases the damage de uh, dealt to a foe, more or less. Okay. Defense. A higher defense reduces the, reduces the amount of damage taken from a foe, usually. Speed. What is speed? Speed determines the order in which friends and foes perform their actions. Okay. Look. Look affects critical hit rate, which is your chance to deal a more powerful blow to, to a foe. Okay. Wasn't there a thing where... I don't know, something that always deals a critical hit? Hit rate affects your chance to hit a foe. The lower your hit rate, the more likely you are to whiff attacks. Maybe I should have known this. Energy. Energy is a collective stat shared between all friends and is needed to perform a follow-up move. Okay, that is good to know. To read more about energy, consult the follow-up action. I would like to know, know more about the follow-up action, but first let's check the emotions. What about emotions would you like to know more, more about? Overview. Emotions can determine how effective an attack is. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. Sad beats happy. Why is this so hard for me to remember? It seems like such a simple thing. Emotions also affect different stats for both friends and foes. Okay, that seems a bit vague. Oh, please refer to the emotion chart in your important pocket for an easy vision. In addition, the emotions of defeated foes can grant bonus effects. Oh. Okay, happy foes have a higher item and clam drop rate. While angry foes will give out more XP. That is good to know. 
So, what do I want? I don't know how useful clams will be. And I don't know if there's a real way for, to dodge for me. But honestly, e items and clams are temporary. XP stays forever, so I think I would like to always go for XP then. Sadly, sad foes don't have any extra bonuses, but are typically easier to defeat. That's sad, literally, but I guess it's true. Um, happy. A happy will have a happy friend slash foe will have increased luck and speed, but a lowered hit rate. Luck and speed. When a friend or foe is even more happy, they become a ecstatic. An ecstatic friend's foe luck is increased even further, but hit rate also lowers accordingly. I need to write this down, like, right next to me. Okay, uh, maybe I'll do a, um, a little cut after this to write all, the, all of this down, because I should, I feel like I should know this. A sad friend slash, friend slash foe will have increased defense but decreased speed. Increased defense. Part of the damage that would be dealt to heart is dealt to juice instead. When a friend or foe is even more sad, they become depressed. A depressed friend or foe has an even higher defense and an even lower speed. That is very interesting. Okay. I guess it all makes sense, however. Angry friend or foe will have increased attack but decreased defense. When a friend or foe is even more angry, they become enraged. The rate for has a much higher attack, but the defense drops even lower. Bloody hell. Well, no, what? <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean that. Okay, follow-ups. I still don't understand these. It's the, over the overall thing. A follow-up move is a bonus action that a friend can perform after their normal attack. To do a follow-up attack, and then press the button corresponding to the follow-up move you want to use. But what does that do? <laughs> energy is a collective stat shared between friends. Doing a follow-up costs 3 energy. Except for release energy, which costs 10. It will start with 3 energy and 1 energy is gained every time a foe deals damage to a friend. So he has to damage damage or 7 times in order to, uh, to get it to 10. Oh, goodness me. Okay. Oh! Wait. No, not that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, okay, okay. Now I understand, bloody hell. Or at least... <laughs> what all of them do. Attack again. This, I can... I, uh, more attacks once more. That's easy. Trip. What does trip do? More aims for a low attack and reduces the target for speed. Okay. Release energy. Everyone comes together for the ultimate attack and deals huge damage to all foes. I mean, I guess that's fantastic. <laughs> Aubrey. Which of Aubrey's follow-ups would you like to know more about? These. Honestly, all of these. I don't understand. Aubrey tries to get Amori to, uh, to notice her, so she makes a strong attack on the same foe. What does Kel do? Kel... Is that the word? <laughs> Aubrey and makes her angry. Makes her angry. So we can make Aubrey angry. If she looks at Kel. Look at Hero. Hero encourages Aubrey, making her happy and increasing her defense. Or defense, should I say. Then I suppose I always want to go with look at Amori. That seems like a good thing. I like to do your damage. Kel, what do you do, Kel? Yeah, these passing things. Pass to Mori. What does this do? Dealing one damage to Mori, making him sad? Why would I want to do that? Pass to Aubrey. Kel pitches the ball to Aubrey, who knocks it out of the park and deals damage, just damage to a random foe. That seems like a good thing. Because if there's only one foe, then it... Then, well... <laughs> it should always land on him, right? Kel 
passes the ball to Hero, who helps Kel dunk on all fo fo foes doing damage. I, I, um, I, uh, I apologize if I may stutter a little bit. And that's fine. Makes it more real, doesn't it? No script and all that. <laughs> okay. Kolomori. <laughs> well, that's nice. Hero calls Omori. Omori attacks. Then Hero deals 50% of Omori's heart with words of encouragement. Call Aubrey. Hero calls Aubrey. Aubrey attacks. Then Hero deals... Um... So, okay, that, that's the same, just with Aubrey. What's Kel? The exact same thing. Okay, so Hero can heal people, and then they attack. I should remember this. Thank you very much, little book. I believe that is all I wanted to know for now, at least. Skills, equips... Actually, e equips. What's this called? Equips. Weapons. Raise the weapons attacks. Friends can only equip their own weapon. Alright. Charms. Charms can be equipped by anyone. Most charms grant stat, uh, stat bonuses, but some have unique effects. Okay, so that's something for later, I'm guessing. Now, leveling up. Mori and non-toast friends earn XP after each battle. Once a certain amount of... I feel like I've read this before. Oh dear, that was a lot of text, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I have to go back to this, but maybe before I do the next episode I'll write all of it down right next to me so I can remember it better. Here we have this thing again. Can I leave? I can. Okay then, hang on. It feels like we have to go that way, so let me go ahead and check out some other places first. Such as this. Whoa. Okay. Not too sure why I can do that, but I can do this. And it doesn't seem like I get punished if I destroy more, so let's just destroy all of them. This is a pretty long ladder, huh? Uh, it's pretty tall. Not as tall as the one east of the stump. That one goes all the way up to space. You're really afraid of hei heights, aren't you, Amori? It's okay. We don't have to look up there. C can I go up there? Okay, never mind. <laughs> In a way, I want to say that ignoring your fears may be a good idea, but at, <laughs> but at the same time... Um, maybe at some point you want to you try and get rid of them, or at least deal with them, in a way. I already forgot what I, uh... The sand foe gives, gives me nothing. Yes, that's what it was. Okay, then... Attack this one? Uh, attack as well. Annoy... Forest bunny, and you attack the lost sprout. Attack again. Ouch. Look out the more. I think. Uh, call her. Oh, bloody hell. Feel like I'm doing something wrong. Wait a second, if those... If those, um, uh, follow-ups look, um, faded, does that mean I can't use them? Because that's what it feels like. Okay. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like that is exactly what it is. Pressing it and nothing happens. Let's do 
some of this, and then you can go ahead and... Hey, would you mind healing yourself, hero? If you can do that. Oh, already done. Okay. Yeah, we definitely got more XP and clams. And someone even grew. Uh, I want to save, I just hope maybe it's not too far away. Wait, am I lost? Dandelion. Let's check what that is. Oh, toys. Uh, has a calming effect. Okay. I know, I know, we want to go to the, the weird, but not again. <laughs> Can I run? Couldn't get away. Great. Ah! He returned toast. Ah, rubbish. Okay. Wait, I thought I attacked someone else. Never mind then. Uh, okay. Hop, hop, and hop again, maybe? The thing is, it's weird when they just have uh, health bars but no numbers. Unless they have numbers and I just haven't seen them. Maybe they do have numbers in the health bars and I just can't see them, but to me I just see a red health bar and then that's it. Okay, now let me carefully get back so I can quickly save and regenerate because this does not feel um, very good. Was it up here? I think so. Already. Whoops, did not mean to do that, but I guess I just did. Hey, you have something. Oh, hey, man, is something wrong with Burley? She seems a little upset. Oh, Burley is a she. <laughs> also, did not know that. Oh, about that. Well, you see. Let me explain. Look at this portal. Can you believe it? Its ball is missing. What are we looking at? Yeah, I didn't see it. I see you. Exactly. The tether ball is missing. Then he used his arms and, sw and swung too hard, and now the ball's gone off far to somewhere. Never to be seen again. Oh, never to be seen again. Whoops. Told you not to use your arms, man. Got to use your head. Like this. Sorry, Burley. Using my head all the time gives me a headache. That's because you don't have a head like I do. Oh, something just hit me. I'm sure I saw the ball flying up somewhere in that direction. Into the vast forest? Ugh, we'll never find it now. Might, might as well be lost forever. Hey, don't sweat it, Burley. We'll look for the ball for you. We'll look for the ball for you? Yes. Yeah, you sure you want to do that? Fast Forest is a pretty dangerous place, you know. One time I even got into a super grisly brawl with this ugly plant creature with dead, empty eyes and a gaping mouth. <laughs> That's very descriptive. I outwitted it, of course, being cool and smart and all. There's no monster in all of the universe that can outrun me. <laughs> so, Maury, why don't you and your friends go with Burley and keep out of the trouble? I'd go myself, but... Man! Browse round over bangs again! <laughs> oh jeez, that's my cue, that's my cue, I'm coming up! You're safe out there, guys, I'll see you when you get back. 
<laughs> Come on, Verly, let's go find your lost ball. We don't have anything to worry about as long as we're, we're here together. Eh, yeah, sure. Just don't get in my don't don't get in my way when I show off my totally amazing headwork skills. Ugh. Let's just get this over with. Verly joined you by <gasps> Oh yes. Wait, where? Um where? <laughs> Also, what happened here? Hold on, Banks! You're going to be a-okay! Nose ran me over, knocked me down. But now I'm just lying here because it feels good. I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. You were brass, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I like brass. I'm a fan of brass. Um, I'd like to see you. I thought Burley joined the team. <laughs> I guess not then. Okay, into the vast forest then. Was it here? I think so. No, not this time, little bunny. Okay. So we're looking for a ball. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got ourselves a long pair here. Oh, oh, yes, a hangman's button. Hmm, I don't know, guys. I don't think Basil is in this forest. We haven't even searched the whole forest yet. We can't stop now. Cheer up, Aubrey. We'll keep searching until we find him. If we don't find Basil soon, maybe we should meet up with Marius uh, at the playground, figuring out what to do with from here. From there. Uh, button, button, button. <laughs> Still don't know what they do, I guess, but I like them. Ten keys left. I'd say 24, but okay, I guess ten keys left. <laughs> This is a very, very long pier. Oh no, don't make it mazy. Okay, I'll check that out in just a bit. Just want to quickly see what's over here. Anything? Anything at all? Okay, seems like the other side. And we... We have seen this thing before. You there. Tentacles poking out of the ground. Fast travel, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh! You got plum juice! Plums! <gasps> what is that? Is that a rock with hair? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> the wise rock. I'm the wise rock. I give solid advice in exchange for clams. What kind of advice would you like me to give? Um... I can't do anything with bad advice. Okay advice I could maybe figure out on my own. With good advice, maybe inspirational, interesting, very... Um, just give me good advice. Understood. Here is your advice. Do something today that you'll thank yourself for tomorrow. Hope this helps. <laughs> well, if you're the type of rock that gives inspirational quotes instead of uh, help for the game, then... Great, but I, I'm not going to waste any more clams for that. I feel like I'm getting lost here. I want to check out the pier, I want to check out more direction directions. I see this. Apple juice. Train station. Wait, I thought we've been there before. I see this over here. Life jam. Probably can revive yourself with it. Cherry soda. Chocolate. Smoothie. 
Can I get that weird fruit without attacking that body? Probably not, but I'll try. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Why is it upside down? Forest bunny? Question mark. Oh dear, is it going to evolve into something bigger? Actually, let's go ahead and make it sad, if that works. to be doing anything, which is... What is it? I just continue attacking. Maybe a bad move for all the Amori veteran players, but I'm new to this game and I have no idea what I'm doing, so... I'm just trying. It was already gone. Okay. Three leaf clover. Oh, not a four leaf one. Alright. Also, let me quickly check. Wasn't there. Wasn't there a faux facts thing? Yeah. Regular forest bunny, but upside down. Why does it do that? It seems inconvenient. Its ear muscles must be really strong. Yup. Bunny, hang on. The sneeziest of all bunnies likes to hide in bookshelves and under the bed. Seems a little shy. I feel like this game has a lot of things going on with bunnies, doesn't it? Or well, at least I feel like I've seen many, many bunnies before. Tofu. Ugh, not a big fan of tofu, but maybe it'll, it'll help these people. I'm like those mole sprouts right now. Absolutely lost. Jacks. Oh, okay. I want to go there. Wait. You there. Ah, ah, train station. Quack, quack. Foggy bridge. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get this. Bracelet. That sounds like a charm, isn't it? Ah, okay. More luck. More defense. I guess I should check which one has less of something. Why can't I? Wait, didn't... Oh, keep pressing the wrong buttons. Didn't this thing tell me that charms can only be equipped by uh, certain characters or something? Equips. Charms. Huh. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait. Ah, there we go. Okay, so she would then have six luck. Let's see, Kel, how much would Kel have? Ten. You there, how much would you have? Eight. I want to go with Aubrey. Let's just do it. Alright. Wait. Oh, okay. Who has the least amount of defense? I don't want to take away his um, his little rock friend. Defense nine. What about you, Mori? Sure, I'll give it to you. I mean, I feel like it doesn't hurt to even equip a charm, so let's go and keep it equipped. No. 
it? Does it have red eyes? <laughs> I've just noticed that. Okay, I want to go up there. Wasn't there something up there that I forgot? No? Also, at the same time, yeah, the train station. Hey, this isn't where my last ball went. You got somewhere else to be or something? Um, I'm just gonna say no because I do want to find this ball. But let's check elsewhere. I feel incredibly lost, I have to say. Um, I feel like I'm leading nowhere. Let's go up here. To this weird maze. Maze looking area. There's a tree in the water. Okay, maybe it's not that mazy. Oh! Interesting. I can see a ladder, I can see an archie, and some kind of weird um, kid or person <laughs> who just looked at, looked at us. I mean, its haircut reminded me of Basil, but it's probably someone else. And I'm fairly certain that I have not checked this forest completely yet. No. Okay. Looking for a ball, looking for a ball. Where's the ball? Birdie's ball. Come on, get oh. oh, it's happy. Happy, eh? Okay. Well, let's annoy you. Ah. Now we should get a bunch of stuff. 24 XP, 4 clams, hero grid to level 4. Sounds fantastic. And no one even lost health, I believe. I wonder if that's a strategy, to just stay in the vast forest in order to level up. I mean, if we ever get to a fight where it seems like I'm never going to beat it because it's too strong, then maybe I'll just stay here and level up until I'm strong enough. Or until I'm smart enough, you can say. Because right now I'm very much missing knowledge. But it's all part of the game. Apple juice. Also, this may seem weird, but I always uh, try to avoid temporary things in uh, games. Or things you can only use once. Okay, now, you there, what is up with you? And why does it appear so many times? Is it maybe supposed to represent a bad memory? Or a fear? There's nothing in here. Just a tire swing. What if I stand in front of it? I honestly don't know. Hmm. I mean, I guess we don't have to change. Um, <laughs> we didn't have to to change the area too drastically, like we did in the second episode. Foggy bridge. Okay. <coughs> I just hope it doesn't feel like we're going nowhere. Wait, so how can the train station be on the left? Ah. 
train station. Okay, so we are we are going around the world, literally. Okay, that does. Whoopsie. Ah, bollocks. Okay. Um, let's annoy the lost sprout thing and attack the forest bunny. Also, I want to mention the beautifully drawn forest in this mountain, or tree. The uh, artworks for this game are amazing, I just have to mention this, just so it doesn't go unnoticed. My props to the developers. Oh, whoa! Okay. Clams and tofu. Okay, I hope none of you mind if I quickly heal up again and maybe save even. Um, I went the wrong way. Also, where's Burley? He's in my pocket or something. Apparently, he's with us. Oh, hello everyone. How's it going? Have you found Basil yet? Hey, Mari. No luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I wish I was there. Uh, I, oh, wait, what, what? I wish there was a way I could help more. We're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know. Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? Ladder. Great idea, Kel. Let's just climb to space and suffocate. Or... Yeah, suffocate. That's probably the first thing that'll happen. The one east of the stump. We can't do that. I'm already afraid of heights. Look, are somewhere up there. We've got to take our chances. I know, but... Oh, Mori. We're growing stronger and stronger every day. You can handle climbing that ladder. Climbing a ladder, can't you? Well, with someone who's afraid of heights, I don't think you can say that too uh, so easily. Come on, little brother, face your fears. That's, I think, a better way to say it. <laughs> it's natural to be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. Come on, Amori, it's just one measly little ladder. What's the worst that can happen? I don't know about this. Do you think you're going to be okay, Amori? I want to say more about this. <laughs> First of all, I feel like you can't just get rid of oh, the fear of heights in one swing with just one single session of climbing a huge ladder. But at the same time, maybe it is one step further for him to deal with his fear of heights. So I suppose I will be okay, but I, in, in the moment, I'm definitely not going to be okay. <laughs> Okay, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. If you get scared, you can always count on me to back you up. That's also a great thing to say. Thanks, Amori. You've got some real courage. Whoa! Homer Simpson. Let's go. Let's go to the ladder east of the stump. May I please heal up first? See you later, Mari. Bye now. Stay safe. Remember, Mori, you're stronger than you think. Can I please save? <laughs> Every time I want to go and eat and save here. Some kind of cutscene happens. Not that I, not that I just dislike it, but hmm. uh, let's save this one just because I guess I do. Um, okay, can I maybe not go to that ladder? Can I maybe first <clears throat> look for that ball of yours? Ball, uh, <laughs> the ball of Burnley. What's I? be more careful not to always run into enemies. Ah, okay. Wait, wait, what is this? <gasps> it's the ball! <laughs> and he just appears out of nowhere. Sweet! There's my lost ball! Yoink! What? 
that feels weird to say. Finally, let's take this bad boy to the playground. I'm itching to play some tetherball. Don't get lost. Oh, okay. He, follow he follows us. Oh no. That's a boss fight, isn't it? I don't know if I'm ready. Let's just... Wait, let, let's first give Burly his ball back. And then... Uh, again. Okay, but we're going to the playground anyway, so maybe we can heal up after that. So far my strategy just seems to be to squeeze out as much XP and stuff out of the enemies as possible. Oh, Kale became toast. First, I didn't want to miss anything, but at the same time, I did want to progress. I didn't want to slowly sloth through all these areas. Well, that was fun. Not. I'm gonna go play some tetherball. See you later, alligators. I'm all, I'm out here. <laughs> Do your thing, Burly. But seriously, come see me before you go. I got something special for you. Clunk, 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 as I load for. Please just save, or at least heal. Um, yum, yum. So, what have you got, Burly? Hey dudes, thanks for getting my lost ball back. As you can see, I'm putting it to good use. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> yep, she sure is. I was thinking, since you were all so kind to help me out, I'm gonna be generous and teach you my special skill. First, I got a question for you all. Which one of you has the hardest head? <laughs> well, duh! That'd have to be Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> Why, chill out. No hard feelings. Get it? Eh, that sounds about right. Alright, Aubrey, I'm gonna teach you a skill just between hard headed four players. It's my special. 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 Spe Mm. Speciality. <laughs> Speciality. Speciality. It's simple, really. You just run up to someone and... Oh. Ouch. Wham! Now you try. That looks like it would hurt. It must have messed up my hair. It must have ruined my bow. Now oh, come on, Aubrey. Live a little. Having messy hair never hurt anyone. Heroes... <laughs> Albert Einstein. <laughs> Here is living proof of that. Yeah, you bet. Mm, fine. If I'm doing this, I'm gonna give it all I got. Wow. Uh, I feel dizzy. Ha, <laughs> nice one, Aubrey. Knew I saw talent in you. Congratulations, you've passed the test with flying colors. Huh? What's, what's happening? From this day forth, I hereby declare you a bona fide headbutter. Bona fide? Bo bona fide? Bo bo bona fide. Aubrey learned headbutt. And take the certificate. Show your friends. I'm sure they'd be proud. To barely <laughs> uh, purposely may make an entire certificate just for this. You got a butt certificate. Thank you for the butt certificate. Let me just quickly have a look at this skill. Deals big damage, but Aubrey also takes damage. Stronger when Aubrey is angry. 
wait, wasn't there... I mean, that seems good, but wasn't there some kind of... Uh... Oh, there was some kind of uh, follow-up that annoyed someone or made someone angry? Or... I think it was when Aubrey... When Aubrey looks at Kill. Was that, was that what it was? I'll check again, but I'm pretty sure it was. Certificate recognition, but certificate awarded to <laughs> Aubrey, signed Burley, superintendent. Wonderful. That's quite hard headed. <laughs> anyway, let me just quickly check. Follow up from Aubrey to Kel. Kel pestures Aubrey and makes her angry. Okay, so that can be used. I'll try that, I'll try that uh, the next time we get into a fight. But for now... No thanks, I'm good. Um, we've reached one hour, I think I'll let the, uh, this more or less tiny episode live for it. I'll have to check some more if I um, can think of any more adjustments to this Let's Play of mine, you can say. I mean, so far I'm really enjoying the game. I still need to learn a lot, but I also want to see, uh, well, I guess, how the story continues. Need to um, know, the, know the characters more, and um, definitely learn how to fight, or how to act in fights. And... I think for the next one, uh, for the next session, I'll definitely write down some um, fight facts, you could say. Some things f uh, to help me remember in fights, as well as um, as well as what I'm going to do next, which is, f um, I guess, check out that weird plant in that cave. Which, hopefully I won't forget, but I'm pretty sure I won't. So, anyway, goodbye and have a great time, everyone. And hero, dead last, but still happy. Oh, oh, the ladder. <laughs> That's an old joke. <laughs>